Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub and in my last videos I am talking about graphs. So today we will discuss some results on graphs. So let us check the first one. The first result says the sum of the degrees of the vertices of a graph G is equal to twice the number of edges in G. Right? So in other words, in mathematical language, we can also say that the summation degree of all the vertices in a graph where V belongs to G, I can write over here that the summation is over the number of vertices. The sum of all the degrees of the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges. Right? So this result is also known as the handshaking lemma. So this result is very, very important in the sense that if the degrees are known to us, we can determine the edges. Similarly, if the edges are known to us and some of the vertices are known to us, then we can calculate the leftover vertices. Right? So we'll do some applications after we are done with all the results. So the next result says that in any graph, the number of vertices of odd degree is even. So that means if I'm talking about a graph G, it will have some vertices VI and some vertices VJ, right? So if I talk about the odd vertices, suppose VI are the odd vertices, then the number of odd vertices is always even. Now why is it so? In the handshaking lemma, we are saying that summation degree of all the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges. So whatever this edge number is, right, whether it is even or odd, when you multiply it with 2, you will always get an even number. That means summation of degree of all the vertices is equal to odd number. So if I divide the vertices as odd vertices and even vertices, right, so when I add all the even vertices degree, this number will be even. So I have the sum of odd vertices. And I have the sum of even vertices. So this is sum of odd even vertices. And the sum is equal to some even number. Right? So now sum of odd vertices I don't know. So sum of odd vertices plus Sum of even vertices will always be an even number and on the right hand side also we have an even number. So when we transfer this even number to the right hand side, we get that the sum of the odd vertices is always even. Right? So this is our second result. The third result says that the maximum degree of any vertex in a simple graph with n vertices is n minus 1. So that means whenever we are having a simple graph, so if you remember, if you recall the definition of a simple graph, a simple graph is a graph which has no self-loops and no multiple edges. So if it is a simple graph and we have n vertices in that graph, then the maximum degree of any vertex in that graph will be n minus 1. That means the degree of any vertex in a simple graph is always less than n minus 1. Right? So... This is our result number 3. So now let's move on to result number 4. So result number 4 says that the maximum number of edges in a graph with n vertices and no multiple edges are n into n minus 1 by 2. So the result number 4 is saying that if we have a graph which has n vertices and it has no multiple edges, right? No parallel edges are there. And the maximum number of edges in that graph will be n into n minus 1 by 2. So just quickly recall all the results, all the four results. So result number 1 is the handshaking lemma. Sum of the degrees of all the vertices is always equal to 2 times the number of edges. Result number 2 says that if we have a graph, then the number of odd vertices is always even. Then in case of a simple graph, the maximum degree of any vertex can be n minus 1. And if we have a graph with n vertices and it has no multiple edges, then the maximum number of edges in that graph will be n into n minus 1 by 2. Right? So based on these four results, let us see what type of questions you can get from this topic. So let's do the first question. 
The first question says, what is the number of vertices in an undirected connected graph with 27 edges, 6 of whose vertices are of degree 2, 3 vertices are of degree 4, and the remaining are of degree 3, right? So that means we are having a graph and that graph has some number of edges, right? So we don't know how many edges, it, some, sorry, some number of vertices. So let's say that it has n vertices, right? And it has how many edges? It has 27 edges, right? Now out of these n vertices, it says that 6 vertices have degree 2. So I'm writing the degree in brackets. 3 vertices have degree 4 and the remaining vertices. If total vertices are n, how many are remaining? n minus 9. Right, because 6 and 3, 9. So they have degree 3. Right. So we can use the hand shaking lemma to calculate this value of n. We know that the sum of the degrees of all the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges. So if 6 vertices have degree 2, so the total degree will be 2 6 into 2. Then if 3 vertices have degree 4, the total degree will be 3 into 4. If n minus 9 vertices have degree 3, then the total degree is n minus 9 into 3. And on the right hand side, we have 2 into the number of edges, which is 27. So we get 12 plus 12 plus 3 into n is 3n minus 27 is equal to 54. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 minus 27 is minus 3. Minus 3 goes on the right hand side and it will become 54 plus 3. That is 57. So how much is n? n turns out to be. Right? So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is 90. Right? Okay. So let's come to the next question. The next question says, is there a simple graph G with the degree sequence 1, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7? So do we have any simple graph with degree sequence this? So we just did one lemma, one result, which said that in a simple graph with n vertices, the maximum degree of any vertex can be n minus 1. Now how many vertices this graph has? Degree sequence means when we keep the degrees, when we write the degrees in an ascending order or maybe in a descending order, right? So this is the first vertex, second vertex, third vertex, fourth vertex, fifth vertex, sixth vertex, right? That means the number of vertices, if I denote it by n, it is 6, right? So that means for a simple graph, the maximum degree that this graph can have is 5. But you can see that there is one vertex which has degree 7 and one vertex which has degree 6. So can it be a simple graph? No, it cannot be a simple graph. Right? Okay. So now let's move on to the next exercise. The next exercise says, is there a graph G with 8 vertices of degree 2, 2, 3, 6, 5, 7, 8 and 4? Can we have such a graph? Okay. So in the handshaking lemma, we said that summation degree of all the vertices is equal to 2 times the number of edges. So if these are the degrees, let's add them and see whether we get a given number or not. Right? So let's add all the degrees. 7 plus 8 plus 4. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. Then 18 plus 7 24. 24 plus 8. So you just add them up quickly and just let me know what is the answer. It's coming out to be 37, right? And 37 is equal to 2 times the number of edges, right? So, since on the right hand side we have 2 times the number of edges, 
So this is always going to be an even number, isn't it? So can 37 be equal to an even number? So it's not possible, right? And you can also say that the number of edges in that sense will become 37 by 2. So it's a fractional number. Edges cannot mean fractions. And hence, such a graph is not possible. Right? Okay. So now, let's see another exercise. So determine whether it is possible to construct a graph with 12 edges such that two of the nodes have degree 3 and the remaining nodes have degree 4. So there is a graph G in which there are two vertices or two nodes which have degree 3 and the remaining nodes. So let the remaining nodes be N. So the remaining nodes have degree 4, right? So again, according to the hand-checking lemma, 2 into 3 plus N into 4 should be equal to 2 times the number of edges, which is 12. The 2 into 3 is 6 plus 4N is equal to 24. So 4N comes out to be 24 minus 6, which is 18. So what is N? N is 9 by 2. So can the number of nodes be in fractions? It's 9 by 2, that means 4.5. So can it be in fractions? No, it cannot be, right? And hence, such a graph is impossible to construct, right? Okay. okay, so that's all. So I would suggest that again, revise all the lemmas. So you got a notion that what type of problems can come from those results, right? And do subscribe my channel and do like and share the videos with other students who are in need. So believe in yourself and you will definitely succeed. Thank you.